Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and if you're wondering how to set an intent to manifest anything using a bay leaf, you landed on the right video. Today I'm going to give you something simple and quick so that you will know how to set your intent to manifest whatever it is that you want. Now listen, I want you to watch this video all the way to the end because you guys know I love throwing in some extra tips to help you along your journey. Now, before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is the metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives nothing but manifesting law of attraction information to help change your life. Now, all I ask is for you to like, subscribe, tap the bell if you like this video and you want more. Now, if you want to know how to set your intent using a bay leaf, keep watching. I'm back, everyone. Like, wow, the bay leaf in feng shui is one of the best herbs to use to attract abundance, okay? So now, you, if you've watched my videos before, you guys know I have tons of videos on bay leaves and cinnamon and everything else. So today, I'm going to explain how to set the intent because there are so many ways you could use the bay leaf, but if you're not setting your intent correctly, it's not going to work. So now the only thing you're going to need is a dry bay leaf and the other thing will be something to write with. I use Sharpies because Sharpies do not break the bay leaf if you're careful, okay? Using a Sharpie is the best instrument to use when it comes down to writing on a bay leaf. Now, when it comes down to the colors, you can be a little creative. I have many Sharpies in all different colors based on what I'm using it for. Now listen, black is all you basically need, okay? But for some of you that want to get a little more creative, you go right ahead. Now, the main thing is, is that you know exactly what it is that you want before writing on the bay leaf, okay? So let's just say you want to manifest that love of your life, okay? So you may not know who the love of your life is, or you may generally know, okay? So there's two ways of going about setting the intent for love. So if you know the person's name, you might want to write the person's name on the bay leaf. You might also want to write your name on the bay leaf, okay? You might want to write your name and his name on the same side and on the other side, write true love or attraction or love is here. Something that represents how you're feeling about this relationship, okay? Maybe you're in this relationship with this person and it's a little rocky. You might want to write his name, your name, or her name in your name. And on the other side, write true love, peace love, peaceful love, or whatever it is that you're feeling at that moment. Now, this is for the people that may not know who it is they're going to fall in love with or who they're attracting. They just want the universe to send them true love. And this is what I think a lot of people need to focus on because the universe knows more. And while you're holding on to one particular person, you could be actually closing the doors to things out there for you. So when it comes down to not knowing who it is you're in love with or who it is the universe is going to bring to you, you put your name on here and you can write on the back side or on the same side, true love, genuine love, the love of my life, my soulmate. You can write something like, my soulmate has now found me. I have now found my soulmate. My soulmate and I have now found, found each other. Universe, thank you for blessing me with my soulmate. You can write whatever it is you want on the bay leaf. And listen, I want you to stick with me with this, okay? So now, when it comes down to manifesting a career, you can write your name. You can write on the other side what it is that you desire. If it comes down to health, you can write what it is you desire. But I will tell you this. Focus only on what it is that you desire. We don't want to write things on here, basically, that we don't want. Now, that's another technique that I can explain at another time. But for this right here, setting your intent in the bay leaf for manifestation, we want to focus on what it is we desire. Now, when it comes down to money, you can write a, your name. You can write a specific amount of money. You can write dollar signs. You can write money comes on a continuous basis 
or money comes in expected and unexpected ways or money comes for the best of all involved. Whatever. The bay leaf has enough room on one side for you to write a sentence. And on the other side, you can include your name. Now, here are some tips that I want to give you for setting the intent for manifestation. I need you really to know what it is that you desire as you're doing this because it'll flow much easier. If you know that you want to focus on love or focus on your career, I need you to know exactly what it is that you're looking for. True love, the perfect career, better health, whatever it is. And I need you to have an idea of what it is you want to write on the bay leaf. I don't want you coming up with something while you're writing. Well, oh, maybe I should write this. Oh, maybe I should write this because now you bring it in some negativity. I need you to be prepared while doing this. The next thing I need you to do, once you write on the bay leaf, I need you to hold the bay leaf in your hand and I need you to state whatever it is that you want. Some people choose to hold the bay leaf between two hands or hold the bay leaf against them, their chest like this and set the intent. Now, the intent could just be an affirmation, something like, thank you, God, for blessing me with my perfect love. Thank you, God, for blessing me with my per perfect career. Whatever it is, I need you to set that intent, not only by writing, but by holding that bay leaf. Now, the next thing I will tell you as a tip to help you set the intent in that bay leaf is to visualize, if you can, whatever it is that you want. I don't want you to visualize as if it is coming. I want you to visualize as if it is already here. So you're going to hold that bay leaf to your chest or hold it in your hand and visualize yourself having the perfect love. If you don't know who this person is, just visualize yourself walking with someone and they're holding your hand. Okay. The whole thing is, is setting that intent. Some people do it in first person. Some people do it in third person, but I need for you to see yourself or be a participant in whatever it is you are seeing. Now, here are some other tips that I want to give you concerning setting the intent in a bay leaf. While you're doing these, you are very well welcome to light a small candle in the name or with the intent also of whatever it is that you want. So this is pink for love. You might want to light a candle for, you know, you have legal matters or maybe you need to clear out some negativity. Maybe you want for love again. This is a Laylokins Awins love candle and this is a protection candle. I have also a wealth candle or you can just use these little candles here. You can also anoint it with oil, intention oil. I have here love oil where you can put a dap on your hand and pat it on the bay leaf. This further sets the intent into the bay leaf. You can use magnet oil, okay? And this, again, one drop, and you can tap it on the bay leaf to attract whatever it is that you have set the intent in the bay leaf. It is just that simple, you guys. But I do want to emphasize, use the candle and the oil that are already programmed for whatever it is that you want. If you're using a candle, program the candle the same way. Now, as an extra bonus for those that are still here, what can you do with the bay leaf after you set the intent? Now, there's a couple of things you can do. You can actually get some tweezers and you can burn it in the candle, okay? And take the ashes and blow it out to the universe or plant it in your soil around your house. Another thing you can do, you can take it and place it in your wallet if you're trying to attract money. Maybe you want to put it in your wallet because you're trying to attract that love of your life. Another thing you can do, you can read it every single night and place it under your pillow and sleep on it. Okay, everyone, I just told you exactly how to set the intent in a bay leaf. Now, listen, if you want more videos like this, all I'm asking for you to do is to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. If you want to join like-minded friends, join me every Sunday morning for a live stream here where you can meet like-minded people just like you. 
Other than that, if you want to know anything about purchasing products like the ones that I'm just mentioning, please look in the description. Everything is right there. Again, this is Yvette and Namaste.